You do it to a guy who used to have something. Right. And now they don't, and now you can just throw rocks at them. Ugh. Yeah. It's so brutal. It's weird. It's weird because it's just a regular job. There's nothing wrong with having a regular job. But if you had escaped that world and you had made a lot of money and then all of a sudden you have to go back to it and have a regular job, people feel like they openly could mock you. Yep. Very strange, right? Very strange. Like, haha, you have to work. Right. Just like all of us. One you of have us. to work. Like, yeah, it's work. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, yeah. what are you, why are you yelling at this person? Right. <laughs> why are you creeping this person out? Dude, just it a sucks. Person. The Coleman thing in particular, man, I remember, like, you, hearing that. And Did just... you see the photos of when he was dead? He got a gold digger. And, like, when he was mm. married to this lady, she took a photo of for the for the gram, like, right next to his body. <sighs> you ever see that photo? No. Here, see if you can find that. Like, she took a selfie with, yeah, look at this. So here he is. She put that on her Instagram? Look at that. I mean, what, it was a while ago, so I, mean, I don't know what year we're talking about, if they even had Instagram. Like, I get doing that picture just because you want to remember someone you love or it's sad oh, or whatever. I can't imagine. Publishing it, though. Wow, poor dude. Poor dude. Poor what dude. What a fucking rough one. What uh, a rough one, man. And it starts out with this amazing thing. All of a sudden, the America loves you. You're on a television show, and you're the star. Yeah. In that, that, that is one of the wildest things that happens to really young people. They put them on a show, and they're a star. And then the rest of their life is trying to, like, figure what the fuck happened. Yeah. Like, what, what was that? What was life? Dude, I mean, this is the whole, right now, there's this huge uh, debate over, like, the the model of Instagram influencer that films their kids all the time. Oh. Right? Like, the argument is, like, you know, if you want kids to work in the movies, there's all these protections mm -hmm. from the really intense protections now. But the Instagram stuff that you're monetizing, like, filming your kids in some kind of weird self-produced reality show, there's no protection for the kids. Like, there's no, like, you know, I think child actors now, their money gets put in a trust. Mm -hmm. You know that, so there's this huge argument right now over like, is that even like, should that even be legal? So like, is this like babies that have their own Instagram account or something? Like, what do you? It's a mode of, uh, it's it's like a, 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 I don't watch it a lot. My wife's like tells me about it sometimes, but it's basically a mode of like, you know, putting up YouTube content. So you're like parenting YouTube channel. You're filming your kids every day, all day long, filming them like sleeping, filming like. This is a, for instance, this is this has happened a couple of times on YouTube. Recently. Child abuse charges against YouTube channel mom underscore the lack of oversight for ki for kids. Law ensures professional child performers are safe, educated, and not working too many hours, but they don't extend to stars of popular YouTube channels. Oh wow! Yeah, and, and so you have like really overzealous parents exploiting their children and dude it's like it's it's relentless and i think some of the kids are now like coming of age and talking about how fucked up it was like uh. you know because it's like it's it's the birth it's their birthday and then mm. the toys they're getting them they're giving them for their birthday are toys that have been given to them by brands right oh so, and so there's a video of them opening up the toy by the brand and that acts as an advertisement yeah yeah so oh so, boy so the kid's birthday gets this turned into a commercial story. What's that, Jamie? The story's fucked up. Um, yeah, I'm not going to share all of the details, I guess, but it's not good. Oh, boy. Yeah, child stars of YouTube hit Fantastic Adventures, uh, allegedly abused by adopted mother. The children told police their adopted mother starved, beat, and pepper sprayed them when they failed to follow directions for videos, officials said. Ugh. Dude, I, I don't, I'm, I don't remember Jesus who this Christ. was, but like Aaron showed me, I guess like one of these people, um, and again, I, 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 this is secondhand information. I, I didn't read it, uh, but I, I know she's like sees this stuff. So, uh, basically, there was some protection that got put in place where 
uh, if you wanted to watch their video, I don't know what it, what it was like. Uh, they were being demonetized or any their point. So they were going to have to go behind a paywall. And they were, I don't know, they were saying something about how like, something about pedophiles admitting they knew pedophiles watched those kid videos. You know what I mean? And like trying to rationalize the way they were doing it because it was making it harder for the pedophiles to watch kid videos to watch them some crazy shit like that but that's the other really fucked up aspect of it is that when you have a huge audience and you're showing your kids in bathing suits there is a definite percentage of the audience that are not interested in watching your kids saturday barbecue or whatever the fuck you're doing Remember, don't you remember when like they figured out a way in the YouTube comments, they would leave time codes for when the camera was like. Instagram algorithms connect vast network of pedophiles seeking child pornography, according to researchers. Whoa. Not to mention they're deep faking their kids for sure. You know, like they're taking the kids and they're deep faking them and God can, knows what. So can you scroll back up to the top, Jamie? The top, where it's, it's th so, parent company Beta says established a task force to combat the problems, and it says Instagram's recommendation algorithms have enabled a vast network of pedophiles seeking illegal underage sexual content and activity, according to a Wall Street Journal expose. In a 2,800-word article published Wednesday, the journal said it conducted an investigation into child pornography on Meta-owned Instagram in collaboration with researchers at Stanford and the University of Massachusetts Amherst. Wow. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, man. Yeah, this is like, you know... The, the fucking organized pedophile network. Yeah, you really have to think when you're putting your kid online. Like, regardless of, the, like, whatever it is, because you have to understand, you know, you are showing pictures of your child to strangers. Yeah. And now there's technology. I mean, they're already, like, you think they're just deep faking celebrities? Right. And, of course. And, and so, you know, then add to that the monetization. In other words, like, so when you're, mate, you're filming your kid and you have a very popular YouTube account with, like, featuring your child, you know that when you upload that thing, like people are watching your kid and jerking off. Right. And, 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 and that these people maybe know where your kids go to school, where they live, Ugh. you know what I mean? So that is an emergent issue right now. For protection.